Hey everyone, my name is Tony and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into roof modeling inside of SketchUp. I'll show you how to model using the SketchUp native tools and how the Sketch Plus roof generator can make the process even easier. Let's dive in. So let's start by modeling an open gable roof on this garage using just the SketchUp native tools. So I'm going to get started by adding a couple of key edges, one at the midpoint and one at either end. And we're going to select and copy this to the other side. And next I'm going to select both of the midpoints and I'm going to use the move tool to move this up nine feet. This gives us a roof angle of 36.9 degrees, which is the equivalent of a 912 sloped roof. Now to carry the slope down to the walls, I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to lock on inferencing to extend the edge outside of active. And as I hold shift, I'm going to use this edge to extend my line. And now we can push pull this face to subtract from our wall. We'll do a little bit of cleanup and repeat the same step on the other side. So now that we have our shape, we can create our roof profile. So we're going to copy both of these edges outside of the group, paste in place. And because I want my roof to have a one foot overhang, I'm going to extend this out a little further. So we'll use the line tool and once again, lock on inferencing and extend this by one foot, six inches. And to know this is exactly one foot over, I'm going to use the tape measure and create a vertical line horizontally by one foot and then another vertical. And this will give us a point where to trim our extended edge. So let's repeat the same on the other side. So now that we've extended our line, we're going to offset this to the thickness of our roof. So use the offset command to extend this maybe a foot or eight inches. I'm going to do this by 10 inches. Next, I'll use the line tool to draw a couple of straight edges. And once I close this in a loop, we'll have the profile for our roof. So from here, we're going to push pull this one feet out, push pull to this side. And once again, one, feet out and ideally this will be the workflow to create an open gable roof with the SketchUp native tools and this could be the generic shape for our open gable roof but once you add all the other details like roof finish and the gutter you should end up with something like this but as always this is a workflow that can take a bit of time so let me show you a more convenient workflow with, with the Sketch Plus extension. For the next example, let's see how many roof types we can generate for this house. We'll start with the rectangle tool and draw our model, our base. Let's offset this by 12 inches for our overhang. And let's push pull this up 10 inches. This is going to give us our base. Next, we're going to use generate hip to roof, click on the top face, and now we can set the slope of our roof. Let's set the slope to 9, 12, and it's going to give us this hipped roof. So this is likely the easiest type of roof to create with the Sketch Plus roof tool, but let's try and transition this to an open gable. Select the move tool, grab this vertices, and I'm going to hold shift so it locks on the red axis going to select this edge so it's flushed. We'll repeat the same on the other side. Next, I'm going to explode these two so they merge together. And we're going to delete this edge. Next, we'll select these edges and we'll offset this by 10 inches. And I'm going to extend this edge as well so it touches this part of the object. Right now we have extend edge outside active. We're going to hold shift to lock on inferencing and we'll select the edge to extend to. Do a little bit of cleanup and we'll do the same on the other side. 
Next, push pull this face so it's flush with the wall. And just like that, you have your open gable roof. Let's just change the material and we'll repeat the same on the other side. And just like that, we have an open gable roof. All we gotta do now is add some detail, like changing the materials, and you should end up with something like this. So the next roof type we're going to take a look at is the shed roof, which is this one right here. Let's just get rid of that and we'll start from scratch. So first we'll start by creating a rectangle for the base of our roof. Just use the rectangle tool and create a face like this. And we're going to group this right away. So now inside this group, we're going to offset this by 12 inches to create our overhang. And we'll select this edge and just bring it in and flush it to that one. So we have something like this. Let's delete these inner edges and I'm going to push pull this face up 10 inches to give some sort of base and structure to our roof. The next step is where we're going to use hipped roof generator. So we're going to activate our tool, click on the face. And this is probably one of the best benefits of using the sketch plus roof generator. It allows you to draw your roof accurate to the slope. For example, I can set this up at 15 degrees, 25 degrees even 35 degrees so we're going to use the value of 15 and we'll press enter to confirm our roof so let's explode our shape so it becomes one and i'm going to use the move tool to move this edge so it matches this slope i'm going to hold shift so it locks on inferencing and select the edge so it matches the height and slope from here, all we have to do is use the eraser tool and get rid of these edges. And just like that, we got the base for our shed roof. Now to add a couple of details, I'm going to select these edges and just copy them down by 10 inches. And we're going to push these faces in. We'll do the same to the other side. And we're going to match the materials cool and pretty easy when you think about it. So another advantage of the Sketch Plus roof generator, it can create different roofs based on the selected face. For example, I have a gazebo that needs a hexagonal roof and creating this type of roof with the roof generator is extremely easy. So we have our face here already. We're going to offset this by 10 inches for the overhang and push pull another 10 inch. Activate our roof tool and we're going to click on that face and right away we get a hexagonal roof in a matter of minutes. Next step, input your slope. This could be 15, 20, 35. So we'll leave it at 28 and just like that we have a pretty decent hexagonal roof. And after adding a bit of detail you can end up with something like this. So it's an extremely useful tool that can speed up your workflow. Now, similarly, if you wanted to model a hip and valley roof with the SketchUp Native tool, that would definitely take a while. But here I have a very simple example to demonstrate how fast you can create a very complex roof. So I'm going to offset this for our overhang by 12 inches, push pull by 10 inches, and now we have our base. Activate the roof generator, Click on our face and just like that we have a hip and valley roof. From here we can enter the slope. I'll set this to 32 degrees. And if you think about it, if you were to start this from scratch, it would definitely take a long time. But in a matter of clicks, we were able to generate a hip and valley roof. And now we can simply apply our materials and we can end up with something like this. And that's going to be all for this video. Hopefully you can see how easy it is to model different types of roofs and even a complex roof like the hip and valley can be done in a matter of minutes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a note down in the comment section on what roof you'd like to see next. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.